Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to SciShow Quiz Show, the show where these two people will compete in science -y knowledge things and win prizes for some lucky subbable subscribers. Subbable. Subbable. <laughs> sub sub subbable. That's my fault. <laughs> I Why did you name it that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm your host, Michael Ronda, and today on the show we have internet guy Hank Green. Woo! And the host of Sexplanations, Dr. Lindsay Doe. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Hank, you will be competing on behalf of Phoenix Ma. I got your back, Phoenix. And Lindsay, you'll be playing for two people who subscribe <gasps> together, Hunter and April Boykin. Yeah! And if we win, they get stuff? Is that what happens? They get something. Stefan, what do they get? Well, Michael, today our contestants will have the opportunity to win a Pizza John sock for your right foot, or a Pizza John sock for your left foot, or maybe both. Back to you. To find out how our contestants can play for you, you can go to subbable.com slash scishow. All right, you both start out with 1,000 points. If you get a question correctly, you'll win some number of points. If you answer a question not correctly, then you'll lose some. Who knows how many? I don't. <laughs> Our first round, the topic is the planets. Our solar system is just full of surprises. The more we learn about it, the more we find out that many of our assumptions have been wrong. Like it turns out that Pluto is not the planet we thought it was. Pluto! And Stop even whining about Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> and even though Mercury is closest to the sun, Venus is actually hotter. Oh, so God, I thought I was hoping that was going to be the question because I knew that. Maybe you'll know this. Which is the coldest planet? in our solar system? Is it A, Jupiter, B, Saturn, C, Uranus, D, Neptune? Neptune? It's gotta be wrong. Incorrect! Ah, cause why would it be a question if it was obvious? You have lost points! Oh. You lost the 50 points! 50 points, I can deal with that. I have 950 points. So, tap. I want to say A, Jupiter, but I'm going to go with B, Saturn. Incorrect! <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> so even though Neptune is the most distant planet from the sun, Uranus is actually colder. Temperatures in its troposphere, which is the layer of atmosphere where the clouds are formed, have been measured at negative 224 degrees Celsius, almost 10 degrees colder than on Neptune, even though Neptune is more than 2 billion kilometers farther from the sun. On both of these ice giants, more heat comes from the planet's interior than from the radiation of the distant sun, and Uranus turns out to have a much colder core than Neptune does. Scientists aren't completely sure why, but some think it may be the result of an enormous impact that knocked Uranus on its side billions of years ago. All right, tied with less points. Yes. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> okay, round two, true or false reptile edition. Our second round this week will school you on the study of reptiles, a wing of biology known as herpetology. Because reptiles are awesome, complex creatures with all kinds of neat adaptations, they could use an image makeover. So let's test what you know and what you think you know about reptiles with three true or false questions. Hmm. Vipers are a family of snakes found on every continent except Australia and Antarctica. Now, true or false, all vipers are venomous. <laughs> I won. <laughs> false. You are incorrect, sir. Oh, two. Man. Wow. <laughs> she's, she's gonna she's gonna pick this, pick up the dregs of this one. I don't know if that's legal. <laughs> it's a true or false question. April, Hunter, Obviously, it's April, true and false is incorrect. <laughs> I win! <laughs> <laughs> I think she wins. Vipers are defined by the presence of long, hollow, retractable fangs that they use to envenomate their prey. When they're not being used, the fangs fold up against the roof of the mouth. There are more than 200 species of vipers, including so-called Old World vipers in Europe and Asia, and pit vipers in North and South America, which have heat-sensing pit organs on either side of the nose. I think, it's, I think that's... Minus 50 to Hank. You get uh, 100 points? Yeah. Sure. Sure. <laughs> That's how we roll around here at SciShow Quiz Show. <laughs> Next question, part two of uh, reptiles, true or false. Among the main groups of reptiles found today, including lizards, snakes, and turtles, and crocodiles, the oldest surviving group is lizards, true or false? False. You are correct. Oh, good. The answer is turtles. Oh, wow. I would have said crocodiles, Way. so I'm glad you didn't make me do that. <laughs> <laughs> turtles first showed up 200 million years ago, and true lizards showed up some 15 million years later. But the evolutionary relationships among reptiles are 
really complicated. In fact, crocodiles are more closely related to birds than to any other reptile groups, and some classifications include birds as a special group of two-legged, warm-blooded, feathered reptiles. You looking at my answers? I am not above cheating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <For> you, Phoenix. <laughs> Part three of our reptile <laughs> true or false extravaganza. Turtles can feel things with their shells. True or false? <laughs> True. You are correct! Yay! That's another 100 points to Hank. You didn't answer that cor incorrectly, so I, you Not don't lose points. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Yay! The innermost layer of the turtle's shell is made of bone, but it's covered with a connective tissue and an outer layer of keratin plates called scutes. These have nerves and blood vessels in them, so turtles and tortoises can sense when things are touching their shells. Interestingly, though, opinions differ about the extent to which turtles can feel pain in their shells. Some research has suggested that they have few, if any, pain receptors in their shells. <laughs> okay, on to round three. Double or nothing. This is where you can wager however many points you want. Oh. Just not more than you have, because that's, that's how, how many you have. You don't want to go into debt. Mm -mm. Okay, Lindsay, you are currently sitting comfortably at 1,150 points. Hank, you have 1,100. How many will you wager? The next topic is electricity. Ooh. While our contestants make their wagers, you can run to the bathroom because we'll be right back after this commercial break. Welcome back. Our contestants have wagered a certain number of points there on their card. You will also write your answer on the card. Are you ready for the question? Materials conduct electricity through the movement of charged particles, typically electrons. Metals tend to have the loosest hold on their outer or valence electrons, which makes them good conductors. Which element is the best conductor of electricity? Is it gold, copper, aluminum, or silver? I wish we had one of those things where you could say, can I call a friend? Yeah, I then bet I would you call do. call Hank. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Hank, phone a friend. Hey, how's it going? I have this question about electricity and which is a better conductor of these four elements. Copper, aluminum, silver, or gold? Um, it's weird how you sound much more official on the phone than you do in real life. It's, uh, something is about the way that the vocals are clipped. Also, it's really weird to hear myself talking a little bit after I talk. It's like a ray gun to my brain to make me less efficient. <laughs> what? I'm gonna, well, since, since my first priority is Phoenix, I'm gonna go ahead and say aluminum. For you, you can put aluminum. I probably won't. Okay, here okay. go. Good. I basically, I crossed one off the list for her. I'm just gonna go with the obvious answer. Then I'll go with non-obvious. Unless our obviouses are different. No. By the number of letters, I'm guessing our releases are different. Okay. Okay, let's see what you answered. Gold. Copper. Wow, both of you got that wrong. Oh, was, um, you had it correct for a couple seconds and then you crossed it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, my way. Man. Silver is the best conductor of electricity because its outermost electron is the most loosely bound. But because silver is so expensive, copper and aluminum are usually used instead. But if you have a lot of money and high performance really matters, like if you're NASA, silver and gold work the best, which is why they're often used in satellites and spacecraft. Woo! <sighs> uh, wow, Hank, you lost. I lost 1,100 points. I did. I have zero points. Yeah. <laughs> but you got more questions I, correct. I am confident. I was confident that I was going to get that right, and I didn't. So, Lindsay, it looks like you won a thing for April and Hunter Boykin. Woo! Congratulations. <laughs> if you want our contestants to play for you, you can go to subable.com slash scishow. And don't forget to check out Dr. Lindsay Doe's channel, Sexplanations, where you can learn all kinds of sexy things. If you want to keep getting smarter with us here on SciShow, go to youtube.com slash SciShow and subscribe. Sorry, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs>